Unfortunately, we can't jump up there, so we have to go around to the stupid ramp. And make our way up, and make our way around. It's times like this when you realize just how slowly you really move in this game. However, in here is one of... This is one of my favorite rooms in the game. Because there is a guy here to lightsaber fight with. But it's dark, it's ambient, and your lightsabers make some really cool effects in the shadows. He only has one lightsaber, though, thankfully. Oh, God. That hurt. He pulled an Anakin there. He lost his lightsaber, and I was about to hit him when he, like, force-pulled his lightsaber back and blocked it. I think Anakin did that in one of the prequels. During Fight with Obi-Wan? I don't know. I haven't seen those movies in so long because they're so bad. Yeah, that is one of my favorite looking fights. It's better if you can manage to like go down there and then the lightsabers like make cool lights on the walls and stuff, but in the interest of killing him quickly and moving on, because this has already been a very long mission, I don't want to extend it any longer. Alright, I do believe here Show yourself. we find another new sort of enemy. Here we have the Saber Staff. Darth Maul would be proud. This, uh, these guys are generally more acrobatic and more defensive, which is actually pretty good uh, for someone who picked the um, light lightsaber style like I have, because it allows you to kind of batter on them and try to get through their defenses. However, because they have um, such an acrobatic fighting style, they can also be very dangerous in um, in offense if you're not prepared for them. No, not speed. Push. Oh, well, speed helps. Especially because we're trying to get through his defenses. Oh, we're out of force energy and I'm low on health. Thankfully, he's using Rage, which will drain his health. Unfortunately, it drained mine faster. Yeah, as you can see, these guys with the two lightsabers... I thought you would be a challenge. They can be challenging. Now, honestly, two lightsabers is um, a personal favorite of mine. Um, my character in the Old Republic uses two lightsabers... Or the double-ended lightsabers... Um, actually, right now, the character I'm playing most in the Old Republic is the character that, um, I'm playing along with Prill, and he is actually using, uh, the same sort of force powers and lightsaber style that I like, so I'm using a different one. I'm actually a Marauder, for anyone who plays, but, um, yeah, Double-Ended has always been my favorite. Ever since I first saw Darth Maul pull out that second blade... I was like, that is, that is, that is, that is, that's for me. That's pretty awesome. I wish I could pick up his lightsaber and use it, but no, we're stuck with this one for now. I think that probably ranges, or comes, uh, personally for me from the fact that I was always a fan of Donatello in, in the, eh, Mortal Kombat, what am I talking about? Anyway, we have a cutscene here, so I'm going to shut up from my pointless rambling for a little while. Who's this? I sense your presence, Jaden. Rosh? What are you doing here? The disciples of Ragnos brought me. At first I thought they were going to kill me, but I was wrong about them. Oh, you Do jerk. you realize how much power there is in the dark side? Kyle was holding us back, Jaden. You should feel the power. It's beyond anything you've ever imagined. Rosh, what are you saying? You're a Jedi. No. No, I... Enough talk! Rosh, destroy this puny Jedi so we can complete our task. Yes. If you're too weak to join us, Jaden, then we can't let you stand in our way. Yup. Jaden, who we thought was lost in that fight, you ready for has actually <clears throat> fallen to the dark side. <clears throat> 
Now this is seriously a difficult fight. This is what I was saying uh, last episode. Um, took me forever because Jaden himself is actually invincible. Um, you have to hit him. He has a mixture of light and dark side powers. You have to attack him enough to knock him down. And then uh, you can do uh, what you need to do to finish this fight. Um, I'm not going to spoil it though. I'll tell you what you need to do when the time comes. You see he falls and then he actually gets himself back up. I'm not entirely sure how he did that that time. But it's not going to last much longer. I still sense you. Yeah, you still sense me. I'm still right here, you jerk. This is uh, probably the highlight of the game for me. This fight, you and Rosh, your two guys, two two friends that you've met. You met on the on the way up to the. Anyway, enough with my talk. Uh, when they start shooting the lasers at him, um, that's when his actually his friends are vulnerable. And you need to kill his friends, because Jaden himself is invincible. But anyway, um, you and Jaden are two friends that met on the way to the Jedi Academy. You worked together in the, in your training. You were under the same master, and now he's fallen to the dark side, and you have to find a way you might to... As well, stop. Um, well, you don't have to find a way. He's attacking you, and you have to find a way to stop him, and that could very well mean killing him. And the entire time, he's, you know, taunting you, talking about how much powerful, or how much more powerful he is in the dark side, and it's just nothing that you've really ever come up against before. And I feel like this, this fight, um, does a lot in the way of, uh, capturing, like, the subtext of the lightsaber fights in the original trilogy. Not so much the prequels, and the prequels it was just more, hey, we have flashing, you know, lightsabers, watch our movies, buy our toys. But in the original trilogy, there was so much to the lightsaber fights, whether it was Obi-Wan versus Darth Vader, the Master versus the Apprentice, which was, at the time of writing, actually, Obi-Wan trying to get um, revenge on Darth Vader for killing Anakin Skywalker, because at the time of writing, Anakin and Darth Vader were actually two different people. Um to the second film, uh, which actually I guess it's episode 5, I always consider them to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the order of their release. Um, to the only lightsaber fight in the second film was uh, Luke versus Darth Vader, which is where, of course, the, um, the most popular line from the entire series, Luke, I am your father. Well, no, I am your father, but... It's generally considered to be Luke, I am your father. Um, you have so much going on in that fight. You have, you know, Darth Vader trying to turn his son because he knows his son is now a Jedi. And he knows that this Jedi could be a threat to them. And because he has killed all of the Jedi, he knows that if he can't turn his son, which he doesn't want to do, he... Um, he doesn't want to kill his son. He wants his son to survive and join him on the dark side. And possibly uh, help him kill the Emperor to fulfill the Sith's rule of two. Which is, only two there are, Master and Apprentice. Um, and it's actually Darth Vader who... Uh, introduces the idea of turning Luke to the dark side rather than just killing him outright as a Jedi, because he knows that Luke is his son and he doesn't want to kill his son, even though it's his son that he's never really had any interaction with, especially up to that point, because, like, he was with the Emperor when his son was born, and he had never met his son other than a, a brief glimpse that he may have not even known it was his son on the Death Star. Um... So, there's just a huge amount of stuff going on in that fight, past the obvious, oh, we're fighting with lightsabers. And it serves as a way to show just how much power Darth Vader has. And, like, you see Luke, who is our protagonist, who is, like, our main guy that we're supposed to be rooting for, 
and Darth Vader is just beating on him. He bests him without even holding his lightsaber in both hands. He's just holding one hand and hitting him repeatedly. And then, of course, there's the climax in Episode 6, um, where Vader finally realizes that it's in the presence of his master, in the presence of the Emperor, it's either going to be he turns Luke or Luke will die. So there is almost more going on in that fight than there was in the Episode 5 fight. Because there's Luke's temptation to the Emperor you can't stop us. Uh, to finally strike down and take revenge for the friends that he thinks are dead. Because the Emperor has, you know, told him that, oh, they've fallen into my trap, uh, they're going to die. You are weak. And then there's, you know, Luke's, you know, self-control and self-preservation showing him that, you know, no matter what happens with the dark side... He is, you know, truly a Jedi, and he's not going to give in to that temptation. He's going to be the bigger man, so to speak. And I feel that those, you know, that's what the lightsaber always meant in the series. It wasn't a, you know, like a tool or a weapon. It was truly something to be used to tell a deeper story without saying it explicitly. You're telling this story of, you know... Luke and his father and, you know, the the temptation of the dark side and trying to, like, be self-serving versus a greater justice. Um, and the dark sides... Oh, come on. Just die, guys. Come on. These guys do have just a stupidly large amount of health. <laughs> and I know how kind of strange that sounds going from, you know this emotional and, you know, English major uh, interpretation of the original, you know, Star Wars trilogy to, come on, you're dumb, just die. But I feel that really this fight gets, like, into that some more. It really shows that, um... Oh, hey, I killed one! I guess you can attack these guys with, like, Force Lightning. I guess they are vulnerable when Jaden is still up and fighting. I actually didn't know that. I thought you had to wait for them to start healing Jaden before you could attack them. But this... I feel like this fight gets into that sort of... deeper meaning to the lightsaber. In that you're two friends from the Academy, and you're finally, like... You're fighting each other because he's been turned. And you know that it's your duty as a Jedi to, you know, fight the dark side wherever it shows up. And wherever it, like, rears its ugly head, so to speak. But at the same time, you're fighting your friend. And this is the guy that, you know, you've spent most of your time at the Academy with. I know from a video game standpoint, you don't really see a whole lot of that because most of your time in this game is you know, out fighting in the, in the, in the missions, but you spent a lot of time with him. Kyle, I... Oh. Did you really think I would give up my new apprentice so easily? Tavia. You should have killed me when you had the chance, Katarn. Your pathetic Jedi mercy is a weakness that shall cost you your life. And the life of your academy's students. But not you, my dear Rosh. Come. Yes, Tavion. Rosh, no! <laughs> Fool, your petty friendship cannot compare with the power of the dark side. So, is this what it's come to, Tavion? Stealing scraps of the Force like some sort of intergalactic parasite? Spare me your self-righteous pity, Katarn! You may have shamed me when you spared my life, but that was before I found this. Now, I have a new master. One who has promised me the power to destroy you and all the Jedi. Ragnos? What can a dead Sith Lord give you? Everything I have ever wanted. Not that you'll be around to see it. I, 
I can't keep this up for long. Hold on! We looked everywhere after getting free, but Tavion had already taken Rosh and fled. So now we know who was leading this cult, but that doesn't explain why there are so many Dark Force users. Some of Dasan's leftover Reborn were with her. As for the cultists, Jaden has a theory. If the Scepter can store the Force, maybe it can release it too. Tavion could be using it to empower her followers. Corrupting disciples with the dark side of the Force? That would explain a lot. Did you get a good look at the scepter? Yeah, I bet it belonged to Ragnos. We need to figure out what Tavion plans on doing with it if we're going to stop her. Agreed. You are going to need to build a new lightsaber to replace the one you lost. While we try to figure out what Tavion's next move is, I'd like you to take a more active role at the Academy. Sir? Jaden, you handled yourself exceptionally well on Vajun. To confront three Dark Jedi and defeat them took bravery and skill. For your efforts, I feel you are ready to join our ranks as a Jedi Knight. Congratulations. Yes, Master Skywalker. Thank you both. Jaden, after the battle, I felt the anger seething inside you. You may be a Jedi Knight now, but you still must beware of the dark side. Yes, Kyle. I'll try not to fail you. Yep, now we get to make ourselves a new lightsaber. Either we can choose from a single lightsaber of any of these beautiful colors and get the final style, the strong style. We can get a second lightsaber. Um, strangely, this game actually overlaps the two lightsabers in this bottom like preview window but they're supposed to be side by side um and you can actually choose two different colors for your two lightsabers which is pretty neat or you can take my personal favorite the two-handed saber the uh saber staff or double bladed saber um like i said this is actually my favorite style the two-handed double-bladed lightsaber but we are actually going to try and get the let's part of let's play more involved in this i will be uploading three videos one showing the final style of the single lightsaber one showing the power of the double lightsabers and one showing the double-handed lightsaber and whichever one gets most likes i'm not I'm not asking for likes, it's just an easy way to vote. Um, whichever one gets the most likes will be the one which uh, shows which of the three lightsaber styles I'll be using. So keep an eye out for them, and you guys will get to choose which lightsaber style you wish to see. Now, there will be three lightsaber style videos, so you can see, you know, all three. So you'll see what each one does, and I'll be giving a voiceover on what... The, uh, the strength and strengths and weaknesses of each are um but yeah that'll be coming later hope you guys enjoyed our little uh, adventure to vision and i'll see everyone next time